hey welcome and this time again with a ham radio video yes long time ago i did the last one but now finally here is another one and this one is about the Quansheng uv k5 it's all over the internet in the moment and it's cheap so i had to buy one I looked a few videos and they did some measurements etc and they were really to say bad they were horrible and so I wondered what is the problem with this radio and you know I have the equipment so I did this test too and surprise mine I have no idea what they have changed. Maybe I have a newer firmware or so. Mine is not that bad. I did power measurements. I also can do FM modulation analysis. So I did that. And we also look into the harmonics. If you send at full power in the bands. So come with me right into the charts as uh, screenshots from the analyzer and also i have not found in any other of the videos what is about this antenna all are talking that the swr is horrible if you send out of the band but what is in band and how bad is it out of the normal ham radio band so i did an swr analysis too with the original video with grounded i'm not sure how this radio do this i tested it grounded and without ground so we i checked both so straight to the analyzer let me switch the monitor so here we are first picture is 145.4 megahertz it's between the simplex and the repeater frequencies this is at low and we have 32.8 dbm that's almost two watts so that's for low that's high for me but that's low so the next one is in mid you can select low mid and high so this is mid 34.55 and at high as we all know 36 dBm is 4 watt so it's a little bit over 4 watt at 145.4 megahertz fm of course so the next ham radio band is the 70 centimeter band and you are listening normally at the repeater frequencies at 439 but TXing transmitting is low at 430 432 433 I measured it at 430 400 again at low we have about 2 watts 3292 that's 33 that's fine and I come back to the harmonics in a moment so this is mid you see we have not gained a lot of power but a little bit in mid uh, settings and in high settings we do not reach the 4 watt 35.2 so the next are the harmonics and there it was a little bit of a controversial thing in a few videos I have seen. Some say it's horrible, some say it's okay, others say it's fantastic. And what should I say? I think that there are different firmware versions out with the radio. Cause mine is not that bad. I transmit it again at 2 meters. It's from 40 megahertz 
up to 2 gigahertz. If we look at harmonics or psi transmissions, whatever you want to call it, normally you would try to see the harmonics at the third, so 3 times 145, but there is, mm, let me say nothing. There is a little peak on 290 and there on 1.9, but is that really a peak? Uh, there you see too, it's not really and harmonic or so. So that looks really good for me. I did the same TXing in the 200 megahertz band. This is not legal in my country. I did it on the analyzer so there were no public transmission. In settings high you see we have a little bit over 2 watts and again no harmonics or so up to 2 gigahertz. I can measure higher but makes it sense. That's your decision. So here is a little bit different. I transmitted in the 350 megahertz band. You see in high settings we have about 2 watts and here we see harmonics. This is the first harmonic, doubled the frequency and that is not low. No? This is a transmission and you can see smaller peaks up here. Can we call that harmonic? No, I don't think so. But this first harmonic, this is really serious. So take care if you allowed to transmit in the 350 megahertz band. Uh, take in mind that you have a first harmonic in the 700 megahertz band to suppress it. So the next was the 70 centimeter band. I transmitted again at 430. And there we see little spikes in the spectrum. One is in the 23 megahertz band and the other is the first harmonic at 860. Yeah. The original transmission at 430, almost 4 watts. The first harmonic down by 46 dB and the third harmonic in the 23 centimeter band is down by about, let me say, 40 dB. You can amplify that and do transmissions in the 23 centimeter band. The 505 megahertz, we are also, if we open it up and you see uh, about 2 watts and the third harmonic down by 45 megahertz, uh, dB, 45 dB. So yeah, we have there a harmonic at 1.5 gigahertz. That was about the power and the harmonics and while I'm able to do that, I did also FM analysis. How wide is it in narrow and in wide? Is it inside the specs or does it splatter? I can show you. So first measurement in the 2 meter band 145 400 and this is wide settings. Looks not that bad but yeah let me show you narrow settings and you see the modulation rate is both over 10 gigahertz, <laughs> sorry for the gigahertz, over 10 and a half kilohertz and the deviation is 2.27 on narrow, 4.42 on wide. The same in the 70 centimeter band. This is narrow, 
and white. I think that is the most things for the measurements about the radio itself. I tested a few things and uh, what I can say so far, it's doing its job. The modulation is... Oh, so I don't miss that out. You can adjust the microphone level in the menu. And if you use the highest setting, it's really, really loud. I did these tests in the loudest settings. It's really loud if you compare it to the Bao Feng UV5, UV R5. Um, what I have tested it with an external microphone, mine was not working. Maybe the plugs are a little bit different. I have to check that out. There was an original headset within the package. I have not tested that one. So maybe all is working fine, but it's not compatible with the other microphones I have. They are, I think it's Kenwood style. And normally it's working, but not on that radio. Not sure why, but maybe I do a follow up video to check the other things. So please write down in the comments what you want to know about this radio. And finally, I told that to you, I measured the original antenna. Is it so bad? Mm. Or is it better than we expect? This is the grounded chart. I did a few markers here, as you can see. Number one is in the two meter band. There were no significant resonance below that. You see, we start here at 40. Let me do this a little bit smaller, then you see it better. On 40 megahertz up to one gigahertz. Above one gigahertz, the SWR was so horrible that there are no resonances. So I kept it as narrow as possible to see the resonances. So the first real steep SWR and good one is in the 2 meter band, 145 megahertz in the middle of the 2 meter band. Sorry for the background noise, our local fire department is doing trainee, etc. whole day. So the second, is it really a resonance? It's over one to three, as you can see here on 325 megahertz. Then we have the 70 centimeter band, not that good on the transmit frequencies. Uh, on the receiving, a little bit higher would be here on 439 or so. It is okay, I have seen much worse, but look at that here on 4. It's on 454, that's above our 70 centimeter band. There is a much better resonance. And the next, can we call it a resonance, not sure, with an SWR almost 1 to 4 is on 9. 50. That is grounded and this is without ground. Here you can see no ground, the 2 meter band, even better as before. Let me compare that for you. Oh, look at that. Oh, there it was almost, there was 1, 2, 3. If we go no ground, it's much better on the 325 megahertz. The 70 centimeter, oh, here no ground. 1 to 2.5, 1 to 3. Grounded, it was better. So not sure what the radio does. And the above here on 950. Is there a legal band in the world? If you are in a country 
where you are legally allowed to transmit on 750 FM. Please write it down in the comments. So that was the SWR chart of the original antenna. Still, these short antennas are not my favorite. They are handy, but the performance is not the best. If you want to see which antenna is my favorite and perf outperforms everything, I try to link it here. Or you find the link down in the description. So that's for now for the Quan Sheng UVK5. I'll call it the Bao Feng UVR5 killer. There are a few things I'm positive, like the microphone level you can adjust. Um, yeah, the, the, the plastic itself. Mm. And can you see that here on the AB, this little white, I carried it one afternoon in my backpack. And I can see these rubber rubbed pieces on the knobs, so I think the buttons will not last long in my backpack. <laughs> We will see in the future. So, okay, that's for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Sando DM40S. Bye.